Hello, I'm Jeff Patterson. This is Daniel Tran. Today we're going to look at some teep kick counters and learn some follow-ups with that. Kind of play off a little series I have together here about, I think, 12 different techniques we're going to show you and uh, with some different follow-ups on that. So let's go ahead and get started. So <clears throat> the first one we're going to look at is the outside scoop off of the teep. So when he comes in with that teep, I'm going to scoop it from the outside here. And then off of this scoop, I'm going to have three follow-ups that we're going to play. So the first one is a scoop. And then as I drop his leg, I'm going to come in and bam, kick right on the IT band, right on the outside of the leg. Number two, I scoop, kick right on the head of the calf. Number three, scoop. And this one, you really want to watch your control so you're not bruising up your partner, but cup knee right on the outside of the, the leg. Let's go on this side. So he feeds me the teep, scoop, and to the leg. Teep, teep calf, teep. and pop, to the knee. Okay, so now uh, the next variation is the inside scoop. So when I go on the inside scoop, I want to make sure that I'm checking him here because I don't want him to grab my neck and then get out. So when I come in, I scoop and I check right away. And the first one I'm going to go, knee to the body. Let's turn this way. Again, so I scoop, check, knee. Again, scoop, check. I can take the knee to the thigh. Scoop, check, jump up, knee to head. So you got three different targets. We're going to go on the knee on there. Next variation, we're going to look at the shelf. And when you're coming in on the outside shelf, so he feeds me the kick, I'm gonna come down here. Now when I get him off balance, notice how he's hopping. So when I go to sweep him, I'm gonna get him hopping, and then I tap it and take him down. My goal is, or what I'm trying to do when he's hopping, I wanna start that kick when he's down. So that way when he's up in the air, I'm hitting him and I'm just sweeping the leg out from underneath him. Okay, let's do it again. One, I get him hopping and he's down okay now i can do the same thing off the inside with a little different sweep so we're here he feeds i go to my shelf i get him hopping and off the inside one more time good all right so outside inside shelf next one is the zone so on the zone we're going to do three different ways he feeds the foot jab I can just zone out. He feeds the foot jab. I can go to the right side and to the left side. When you're going off of the right side, just doing kind of a triangle step and zoning here. On the left side, it's a kind of like a, a big quarter turn coming in here. And then on the shuffle out, I'm just getting out of range. So basic on the uh, evasion. Next one, cup knee. So when he feeds that foot jab, I'm going to angle and come in with that cup knee right on the outside of the leg. Watch your control. Deep. Time, rhythm. Deep. Here, okay, cup knee. Now we're gonna go over to some uh, uh, catch variations. So the first one on this one, he's gonna feed me that lead deep. I'm gonna catch it here. My left hand is on the bottom or crossway here. So I've got him like this. My right hand is on top. Now, once I have this position here, I'm gonna bring it to my hip and check, get him hopping, and then tap the leg and sweep. Again, rhythm, catch, check, get him hopping, and do it again. So, catch, check, and sweep. Good. Next variation, he feeds the kick, and I catch it, but this time I've got the right hand on the bottom. So in here, when I bring it to my hip, now I trap this side or bring, come in over here. Let's hop around. So I've got it on my right hip. I've got this hand checking so he can't grab my neck. I get him hopping and take him down. Okay, one more time. Catch, hip, and down. Good. Now, uh, next variation. So we're going to go a couple different variations off our follow-ups off of that right hand on the bottom catch. So when he comes here, the first one, 
I get that catch. Now I'm going to kind of jut or pull him off of his into me a little bit. And as he falls forward, I'm going to come right up with that upper elbow. So if both of his hands are up, I'm looking at coming right in between his guard. If I go like this, sometimes that'll work if he's dropping his hand, but I want to try to get it, sneak it in there off of this. I pull him and right up the center. Let's do it on this side, please. So here, one and bob, right up with that upward elbow, coming right in the center there. Next variation, I'm going to do that same catch with the right hand on the bottom. Now, when I pull it this time, I'm going to kind of get him off balance again, just like with that elbow, but then follow up with that knee to the body or knee to the head, depending on how far down I get him. So here, one, two, and bang. Again, one, two, bang. Nice. And last variation. Going back to the left hand on the bottom, he feeds here. Now on this one, I'm going to take his leg, if I have his left leg, and I'm going to draw like a clockwise circle as I step and throw him down. So I'm kind of whipping the leg and moving back. So again, he feeds one and here. Okay. One more variation off of this one. We go with the left hand on the bottom and he teeps. I catch him on this side. Now, from this position, I'm just going to bring it right back into uh, my left hip. And as he falls forward, I'm going to cross step and come over with a spinning back elbow. Again, one, two, and three. Back rhythm and circle this side. One, two, here. Now, all of these variations, we're just doing off of the one leg because I want to show you the technique. You can play all those off the right leg, right teep as well. Uh, great little series, a lot of techniques in here, a lot of advanced techniques. Make sure to be careful when you're playing with your partner. If you're throwing somebody down, make sure you have some good, something good to land on. And uh, um, also, a lot of this stuff is great to play with combinations. So for example, say uh, we're working just off of the basic number one. He feeds me that foot jab. I can link this together kick and then follow up with a standard four Aish. or maybe I feed a one two and then he foot jabs and then I come in lock it in so I can put this off of a defensive response or an offensive attack attack so you can play these with uh, you know a thousand possibilities and different ways you can put them together for training we can play these on the tie pads on the heavy bags whatever you're doing shadow boxing uh, Great group of techniques to play off the foot jab. Next time we're gonna go through, in the next video, keep a lookout. We're gonna go over for some uh, catch counters. So when somebody catches your leg, how do you defend against that so you don't get caught or swept? So keep your eyes open for that. Thank you for watching and we'll look for you in the next video.